The purpose of the journal is to track activities for personal, business, or both. And to get to the journal, to create a journal entry, just come down below in the navigation pane, click on the More button, and go to Folders. When you click on it, well, you do get the folders, including what we saw down below in the navigation pane, like your contacts, your calendar, your inbox from the mail folder. Also, the journal. Go ahead and click on that. And then over to the right to create a journal entry, you can right click and go to journal entry or come up here on the home tab to the new group and click on journal entry. I'm going to come down below, click on journal entry, and some of this is going to be subjective. I mean, it's your journal, whatever you want to type in, but it does have some fields that will help when it comes to identifying or helping you label your journal. So first of all, as a subject, we could say, well, it's a ghost investigation. And then down below, what's the entry type? Is this a phone call that we got? Or actually it was an email message that Carrie sent to me about this. So it's let's go up here. Was it a conversation? Is the entry about a document? Well, it's an email message. Then the company, type in the name of the company if it has anything to do with the company that you want to keep track of. And then the entry time is, there's the date, there's the time. If you need to update that, maybe it's about the time when you got the email message a week ago that you want to go ahead and start including this, that you want to mark it off from that date and that time. Go ahead and click on that, come up here. You can change the time, maybe it's 04. And then the duration, if it's billable hours, you know, you're billing somebody for the time that you worked on since you got the email message, you can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and choose the time. Like if it's 55 minutes, I suppose you'd choose five and then come up here and add a, another five. But if I go back to zero, here's something that's cool you can actually come up here in the timer group and click on start timer. When I do that, it starts ticking off the seconds until it gets to a minute. You won't see it. There's no dancing timer out here going, hey, here's one second, two second, three seconds. When it hits one minute, it'll change it to one minute. And I'm going to make you suffer and watch the entire time until that turns to one minute. Because I don't want to suffer alone. You're going to have to watch it with me. Oh, never mind. I'll go ahead and through the miracle of video editing, take out the extra seconds. So that was a fast minute. In any case, it's still ticking off, so it's going up to the second minute. So unless I pause the timer, it goes on forever. And then when I'm done, I can click Save, Save and Close. And then let me save and close it. And there it is, Ghost Investigation. Double click to open it back up. And when I click on Start Timer, it picks up from where it last left off. So if it was a minute and five seconds, well, I can't tell if it was 5, 10, 20 seconds beyond the minute, but it remembers. So when I click on Start Timer, again, it keeps track of the amount of time that I'm working in the journal here. If that's how you want to measure it, you can do it that way. But if I come over here and I pause the timer and I say, mm, no, I want to change it and I go to 30 minutes, it resets it. So when I click on start timer, it goes from 30 minutes to 30 minutes and one second, two second, three seconds. That's the benchmark. That's where it starts. So if you want to start from the beginning, then go back to the beginning zero. Now, since I messed it up, I have to start over. But I'm not going to go through that ordeal again. We got the concept. And you get other options up here. You can tag it, categorize it, mark it as private. You can also insert additional things. But where do you insert it? Of course, down below in the notes field. And you can type additional notes, something like, there you go. And if you want to get more specific, you can, or this is what I do, is I come over here and I type in today's date and time because if I got several entries within my journal entry, then I do want to keep track of that separately. Let me, let me make it bold. And then so, you know, close out of here tomorrow. March the 28th, type in the date, the time that I logged in, and then dash, dash, and then another note when I come back to touch this journal entry again. So I can get more particular. In any case, that's up to you. So you can go ahead and type in notes as well as well, up here in the include group. You can attach a file, an Outlook item, which was the email message that Carrie sent to me about the ghost investigation. Click on it. And there it is right there. Double click on it. So I got the original message here, one stop shopping. I can go ahead and double click on it. And there we go. They're friendly. Hope that doesn't change. So I don't have to bounce around and go to the inbox going, what was that message again? I can insert that as an Outlook item here. Also attach files, documents. Let me close out of there. Business cards. So if I need to call Carrie, oh, there she is. Let me go ahead and click off the email message, hit enter, and then the business card to Carrie. So there we go. You need to give her a call. What's her phone number again? Or maybe she's got an alternate number because she's not picking up on her mobile. You can go ahead and double click. Again, it's great because once you insert it, you don't have to leave here. I'm not going to save the changes here. To go out and hunt for the email, hunt for her contact information, it's fabulous. 
I mean, it's like opening up her contact in the notes part of the contact and typing all this in and keeping track of it that way, but then I'm not sure I want to put these separate investigations all in her contacts notes field. Instead, I can journal it here. And then you can come up here, illustration, so you can do fancy pictures. Let me click off that, hit enter. Pretty much what we've done in earlier training videos, like in a contact, it's the same thing here as far as the steps go. I mean, you can do online pictures and say, hey, Okay, I got to search Bing. Let's type in Happy Ghost, hit enter. Oh, great. Let me type it in again. Happy Ghost, hit enter. There we go. Oh, he's happy. Let's select him, click on insert, and oh, he's huge. Hover over the, in this case, the top right-hand corner resizing handle. Click and drag to push him in. Oh, now we're rotating him. He's now smiling the other way. Now he's flipping back. I got to make sure I do this right here. There we go. You can do it that way, or as we talked about in earlier training videos, the point being is that you can go ahead and enter specific details about your journal, including pictures, email messages, other Outlook items, contacts, even tasks. You can insert that as well, categorize it, and then when you're done, go ahead and click Save and Close. And it's right there. Now, if you can't find it because, well, let me scroll over here, and you're looking for a specific journal entry, it is logged by date, so you just can go to today's date here. But you can come up here and click search and do ghost. Hey, there it is. And it actually changes view. It goes from, well, let me come up here and show you. Click on the view tab and close out of here. It goes from the timeline view to the entry list. And it specifically pulls in, well, I only have one entry, that one entry. So if I go to the entry list, there you go. It's all stacked here. And it's sorted by the start date. And if I went to the phone calls, well, it's not a phone call, it's an email message, so that's not going to show. Last seven days. Let's go back to the timeline. Whoops. Okay, we want to go back to the timeline. There we go. We just had to give it a nudge. And then, of course, you can right-click on it if you want to delete it. Do some other quick options, like to categorize it or to change categories. Forward it on to somebody, quick print, copy, and open it up. And you can also delete it here as well, forward it there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.